I'm having a lot of fun with these filters. I hope you are too. You can really be creative with applying these to your images and getting some really cool effects. The next one is hue rotation. And basically what we're doing here, we have a table that contains the same image, should look familiar, and each image has a different class. We will create a CSS rule for each of these classes. Each image should have a height of 150 pixels, and each image should have a hue rotation filter as specified by the class name. So if it's hue 45, the hue rotation filter should be rotated by 45 degrees. So basically what the hue rotate filter does is it takes the colors in your picture and depending on the amount of degrees you put into the filter, it's going to rotate it based on, based on that amount. Okay, so let's run our image and I'm sorry, our code and see what we got. It should be the same picture. Okay. And we're going to add the filters to each one separately. Okay, so the first one is hue 45. And let's check our CSS. Okay, so we don't have anything there. We have a class of hue 45. So basically, that's going to be our first class. Let's just work on that one first. So let's open this also in a new tab. And let's go back to the exercise. So first thing I'm going to do in the CSS is work on that image height so we can get that out of the way. And then we'll work on the filters next. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is basically do the Hue 45 class. So that one, remember you need the dot. And we are going to use the filter property and set the Hue rotation. Let me make sure I have that syntax correct. So this is what docs are really useful for. Okay. So it's hue rotate. Okay. So again, great example of using docs when you're coding. You don't need to memorize all of this. I definitely don't have it all memorized. I consult docs all the time. So the right syntax is hue rotate. So let's go back and fix that. Hue rotate and we're going to set it to 45 degrees. Okay, so again, it's taking all the colors or hues in our picture and rotating at 45 degrees. And the max you can have is 360, right? That's the max in a circle. So 360 is the highest you can go. All right, let's see what that did for our first picture. Okay, so I know it's hard to tell, it's so small, but it's rotating there and we'll probably see it more um, apparent when we add the other. So the next one is going to be 90, 135, and 180. So let's work on that next. So hue of 90, 90. And since I'm just going to be using the same property, I'm just going to change the degrees here to 90. All right, let's do the hue of 130. And the other, oh, sorry, 135, and then 180 and 225. Okay, so hue 180 will rotate all of our hues 180 degrees. And then finally, 225. Okay, so that should be it for the CSS. Let's save our work and see if we can see our hue rotation. Okay, that's still looking the same to me. Let me make sure I got my... Let's see. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing the DEG there in the syntax, so we do need to specify the DEG for degrees. Okay, so Definitely good to make sure you are using docs when you code. Okay, so DEG should fix that issue. All right, let's save it once more. Fingers crossed. Okay, there we go. Looks great. All right, so you can see that as we move up for each angle, the rotations become more apparent because the pixels are moving further away from where they originally were. Okay, so all the way down at the bottom, you end up with this purple-blue effect, and it's a pretty cool filter. 
All right, nice work on this exercise. You guys are doing great. I think we're halfway through image manipulation. Manipulation. Nice job, everyone.